Okay. One of the common problems you may have if you say that, and eventually you will have it, just a matter of time, would be that the gas tank bladder ends up failing, whether it bulges until it finally comes apart forward. What will happen in the beginning, the fuel thing in you will be stuck in the up position. You'll be running down the road thinking, boy, I got great fuel mileage, and then you'll be out of fuel. And it's because you're sending you to the step up there. Now, the other thing that can occur, and certainly with these ethanol fuels and other fuels we're dealing with, is it permeates that bladder and gets to the metal side of the fuel tank, it can wrap the tank around. So your only fuel for that matter, you're going to have to replace the fuel tank. We do have fuel tanks available, including the straps that would hold the fuel tank in place. And you probably want to go with these new fuel tank straps because it would be much easier to put back in and to, when you get corroded and uh, check the remove bolts and plastic. Now, back to the fuel tank thing in there. Fuel thing in there. As you see, this side you have a fuel tank in there. This side you have a fuel tank. Just about every fuel belt with 100,000 miles will need a fuel thing in there. Because the fuel thing in there fails and Fuel operation and or the pump for it. Now, you're probably thinking, why would I replace the fuel thing? Why don't I know just replace with the pump? Unfortunately, we're seeing a whole lot of corrosion issues with the thinning units, and the only way to fix that properly is to go ahead and replace the thinning unit as an offender. Believe it or not, the rest particles that would end up coming off of the thinning unit. Even though there is a fuel filter, you'll find a way to your fuel injector. And you're talking about a whole lot of money compared to the cost of the thing. So the best policy is to place the unit as an offender.